Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here. I'm doing an individual zodiac sign reading for Aquarius. I do apologize for two days with no content. Yesterday my energy was everywhere, could not get videos up for the life of me, and I finally just had to stop trying to force it through because that would make me a hypocrite. If I'm on here giving videos and advice telling you to honor your feelings and, and listen to them, I can't force through, through, through something that was obviously blocked. And so I just needed to stop and feel the feelings, not letting any of that come through any of these messages that would have come up anyway, but just simply feeling the feelings, allowing them to come up and being me for the day. And then, you know, today I feel a lot better. The day before I had a headache that was not a hangover, I assure you. So spirit, let's, without further ado, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius? All right. Thank you in advance. Feels good. And first card, Knight of Swords. Current energy. Page of Rods. And Heart Space, the Empress. Ace of Rods, and Outcome, it's possible Outcome, Seven of Rods, Nine of Cups. Underlying Energy, what you might not be aware of, Three of Rods, King of Rods, and the Tower. So something, some way of thinking about It's a, this is a spiritual, okay? This is, this is definitely something that's that motivating spirit in you. So something in that is shifted and changed and come crashing down to reveal something new or to leave space for something new to be born. And you're, you recognize that you are the orchestrator of it. You recognize that you're the reason this, this thought had to be broken down so some, something new could be built. And now... This is just that waiting. Seeing that this thing is coming in, this manifestation is coming in, and just being that patient. This is a self-recognition. I mean, and then you look in your current energy where you've got this page of rods and this knight of swords. This is an honest self-appraisal. Looking at your, looking at your, both of these cards are looking directly at the heart space. Honestly and passionately looking at what new thing, what new and exciting thing can I bring into my existence? So this is an Aquarius who is very much working on something new, something that they want to do create creatively, you know, whether it's a new career, a new uh, relationship, relationships, um, you know, this is an Aquarius who is working on something new, birthing something new that, you know, comes from being able to align with what God wants for you in your life. And I mean, you are just like on it. You know, this page and this, this page and this night are looking dead at the Empress and the Ace like, I am, I'm studying whatever this is because in your possible outcome, you've got something to, to be defensive over. Like, you know, that, yeah, that seven of rods is, you know, he's got the upper hand. The nine of cups, that's the wish fulfilled card. There's a satisfaction from having all of these battles with yourself that I believe, you know, the under underlying energy when you had to rearrange whatever whatever old way of thinking or being was recognizing in that king of rods there i did this on purpose i didn't know it at the time maybe but <laughs> and then now i'm patiently waiting for this manifestation to come in and i have every right to just kind of you know whatever comes up that might take me off my path. That seven of rods is like, nope, not you either. Nope, not you either. I'm getting mine. Look, I mean, the nine of cups is like, 
I'm getting mine. <laughs> I've worked hard. I'm getting mine. So well, to, well done, Aquarius. This is really, really cool. This is, this is birthing an idea worth defending right in your heart space, right where God wants you to have it. You know, that to me is an alignment. And then you've got this honest and passionate, just dedication to it. This page, and I mean, look at them. They're like, I mean, it's almost like you got goons. Uh, Aqua, you got some goons? <clears throat> you got some goons right here? Like, what you need, boss? <laughs> what you need? Like, it's like you looking at your heart and asking your heart what you need, boss. Like, we are, you know, aligning all these different parts of the all these different layers that makes up Aquarius, aligning them all to kind of be like your goons for you. Like my honest side and my creative side are looking at my heart like, hi, Empress. Hi, God-given creative thing, idea. What can we do to help manifest this for you? It's amazing. This underlying energy is complete recognition. Complete recognition that you are the master in orchestrating a new alignment, a new way of being, a new way of thinking to get this thing to come in. And now, yeah, in your outcome, you're like, I'm getting mine. You ain't going to stop me. Feelings, you ain't. You, you dirty old feelings from the past, you ain't going to stop me either. You know, these are all different kinds of things that will be put as blocks in your way. And you are like a boss in that seven of rods. Like, nope. Nope, not you either. Got you off here. I'm getting mine. I mean, look at that dude's face. I got mine coming. So, bravo. I'm going to pull one of my um, Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors cards by Alex Gray for advice. Spirit, what advice do we have for Aquarius? Spirit, what advice do we have for Aquarius? Oh, I see it. Pull it out right there. All right. Very cool artwork. It's the table of elements, I believe. Yep. Or something like that. Matter and space and time. It's like this grid of all the... I'll try to pull it up so you can kind of see the elements and all the uh, correlating numbers and, and stuff with an empty kind of... In its representation, the material world. Um, <clears throat> uh, materia Prima. Beginning of the great work, identity fused with lead in the alchemical flask of the body. Atoms form molecules, molecules form cells, cells form organs, organs form bodies. Our incarnation is miraculous and depends on billions of years of evolutionary biochem biochemical problem solving. Use the great good fortune of your birth to enter life as a path and realize your true nature. Energy, matter, space, and time, building blocks of empirical reality, deep-rooted fabric of the elements, blanketing our physical stratum of being, mother womb and tomb of tempor temporality. Thou art a shadow theater cast by the spiritual sun, reflection of foundation. Is this not perfect? This reflection of foundation, and, and this is like your birthright. This is a, that's exactly what I'm seeing here is that alignment with what God wants for you, recognizing that you create all these tower moments as ways of making a, a space for new, as ways of that, I mean, it said it perfectly here with the uh, mother womb and tomb. It's that representation of the death and life free cycles that this tower moment has created, but recognizing that you had a hand in that. That was your soul's way of clearing out what no longer needs to be there because you've got bigger things to take on. This is really, really cool. Well, well done, Aquarius. I appreciate this. I hope this has helped and I'll see you next time.